So I just had breakfast, day three Atlanta Brick Con. I forgot to vlog at breakfast. Anyways, just got back from breakfast. I'm running up to the hotel real quick just to grab a few more things to take to the hall with me. So I just wanna go in there and be able to show you guys more of the mocks before the public comes in. Day three, Atlanta BrickCon, the first public day. It is popping. I actually got to come in the hall a little bit before the public hours opened, but have not had a chance to vlog. Look at this crowd. It's definitely great that the hall is bigger this year. Last year it was 20,000 square feet. And as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, this is 50,000 square feet. I ran into Will and Will. How's it going, guys? Hey, Don't you guys will, having fun? Great show so far. Yeah. <laughs> having a blast? Yes. Yes, 1010. My love for Lord of the Rings goes so deep. This is Lothlorien Tree by Riley Albertson. Look at this incredible build. Oh my god. I could see this from like the entrance of the hall. It's just so stunning. Danny Bob What's in the up? house. Katie. Katie. Katie Bob. <laughs> this is a Hoth ski lodge, or a ski lodge reimagined in Hoth by Tom Jacobson. Really cool. Really. Look at all these white tiles. Oh my god. Tom Jacobson is Arc Brick Studio. Another Tom Jacobson creation, the Imperial Tactical Operations. This is massive. This is so cool. I have to highlight the friendship table here real quick. So Friendship Timber is a photo challenge on Instagram that takes place in September where all you have to do is build a ship of any kind. So a ship for the water, um, a ship for space, a ship for like the airship, and recolor it into friends themes and then fit it for a mini doll. That is the Friendship Timber challenge. And they give away all these fun prizes. My friend Aubrey, aka Moktura on Instagram, is the one who organizes this. And it's just really cute. So every time she attends a Lego convention, she reserves a table for the friendships and anybody who's participated in the challenge can bring your friendships and display at the table with her. Let's take a closer look at some of these because what is going on here? This one is by Steve, Barefoot Bricks. So beautiful, so freaking cool. I love this Galaxy Explorer recolor. This Ghost recolor by Aubrey, Aub the Builder, is really awesome. I unfortunately forgot to bring my friendship. Um, I was in a hurry packing and forgot. Dana made this one. It's literally one of my favorite ones ever because it's like a dual passenger one. It's just really cute. A really cool idea. Hey. Best part of conventions is running into friends and acting like we haven't seen them all I weekend. I know, because like, <laughs> I haven't seen you all weekend. And here we have Lego Bimo from Adventure Time. And the builder is Noah, AKA H2 Brick. Here's a couple of mosaics by Rachel Haley. Love the Chippendale one. Love all the texture here. This one here is Lenticular Mickey and Minnie. You're supposed to be able to see two images. So here is Minnie Mouse. And here's Mickey Mouse. And that's Rachel. <laughs> And here is Salad of Bricks from Lego Master Hi. Season 4, right? 4? Yeah, 4. Yeah. Yay! Hi, friends! I've been trying to figure out actually who built this Ticket to Ride mock because yesterday I didn't have a mock card. And it is actually my friend Jeffrey Crane. Hi, Jeffrey! So he's local to the Atlanta area and yeah, he built this cool Ticket to Ride mock. You can find him on Instagram. His username is from Brick to Brick. Very and he very also made this winter park scene. Check out this incredible Fright Nights Mountain Fortress by Richard Barth. And it has a ton of the new CMF minifigures, which are uh, the Bat Lords. Like, look at how amazing they look. He has a whole army of them. Stunning, stunning details and colors. I'm really not a castle person unless I recognize the castle, like from Legend of Zelda. But like, this stands out. It's not your typical light gray. I think I'm gonna vote for this for best castle. I'm literally stunned at this Belleville Mock by JSTAR. Look, look at this entire layout of these stunning like black and white buildings. It's so cool. Some of these buildings are lit up. This is gonna look really nice at the World of Lights later on tonight. And he has like scavenger hunts set up. You can pick one of these up, walk around the build, and try to identify Corella de Bill, Poodle Poop, Marie Antoinette. Uh, this, is just, this is so cool. Birdie bots every flavor of beans. There's a J-Star, um, so that that is the builder, that is J-Star, and I guess he's somewhere in this Lego city. Just the coolest details. Oh, I love this little plaza with the horsey. 
the unicorn Pegasus thing. This is Belleville, guys. Probably my favorite part is that you can walk all around it. So this side, you get to see details of the build as well. Ooh, there's the new CMF minifigure, the red herring, detective man thing. Ooh, this reminds me of that, that friend set, the botanical garden set. So taking a little break and coming to this vendor corner for Bricker Builds, Bricker Builds makes some of the most amazing sets. One of these days I'll buy that Captain Rex helmet. But you know, they make large scale stuff. They also make some smaller scale stuff, a pirate compass, these dinosaur eggs, the Eye of Agamotto, and then the Iron Man arc reactor. Just super cool. I've been really wanting to see this Master Sword in person. How freaking cool is this? Oh my god, it's heavy. Obviously, it's all Lego bricks. But man, this is heavy. The time is flying. It's almost noon. I'm starving. So, going to try to find some people uh, with a car or <laughs> like who want to share an Uber and find something to eat. Grabbed an Uber. We're all going to go to Marlowe's Tavern. Everyone say hi. Hi. Ross. Yeah. We're at Marlowe's. <laughs> Made it. Lunch time. Just finished lunch, heading back into the hall. Let's see what chaos is happening. Just gonna try and make it through the crowd here. Uh, there's apparently a Lego influencer panel happening in the back, so let's see if I can find it. It's 15 till closing of the public hours, so it's 4.45, so I finally braved coming to the vendor section. Honestly, most of the time I come here, everything is like overpriced. Like everything little is overpriced by about five to $10. Anything big is overpriced sometimes by 20 to 50, sometimes double, like kind of meant for the public who don't really know about Lego prices. It kind of wants the instant reward of getting a Lego set, so everything will be overpriced but I do like to come out and scope the minifigures sometimes because it'll be minifigures that I might never ever own and it's just, they're just like really cool to look at in person. We are at the end of the public hours. Hi everybody. I am at the new Hashima build. It's the only way I can get this close to it because during the public hours, everybody is surrounding it. Look at this in all of its mighty force. The amount of work and people who come together to make this happen is just phenomenal. It's a whole experience. I can't wait to see this later at the, at the night lights or I forget what it's called, but it's when they turn off all the lights in the hall and you get to see all of the builds that have lighting. Yeah, I'm gonna show that to you guys. New Hashima is the ever-growing cyberpunk collaborative effort that we've been working on for the last like four years or i've been working on for the last four years uh, we have different versions that pop up at all of the shows um basically anywhere in, in uh, <laughs> the u.s we have german shows coming up too in nice Manchester. it's just a uh, open collab of people who are interested in building in the cyberpunk science fiction genre awesome thank you i am walking with blaine and jillian to social hour at the hotel Martin is going to go take a nap because he's a loser. And then we're going to go back to the convention hall for the ceremony dinner thing. We're recharging our social battery. We're recharging our social battery. It is to be ceremony dinner. So first there's going to be dinner. After everybody eats, there's going to be awards and things like that. There's going to be raffles. We all got two, two tickets? Three tickets. Welcome to Atlanta BrickCon World of Lights. It's obviously not like fully dark in here, but it is much more dim, especially in some sections of the hall, so that we can like take advantage of seeing all of the beautiful lights that people have on their displays. Here's Tom Jacobson's Imperial Tactical Operations that I showed y'all earlier. Looks really cool lit up. As promised, I said I would show you Belleville at night lit up, and it does not disappoint. This looks so freaking beautiful. I'm not just saying it because J Star is standing right next to me. This looks so incredible lit up. This is the Capitol Dome. Let's look at more about the builder, the Studgeoneer. 
Mark Laura. He has a sign up here that says, look at the back to see the interior and building structure. So this is modeled exactly like the Capitol Dome. Beautiful. Going to approach New Hashima, which is the largest build at this convention, and it looks stunning at night. Oh man, you guys are not ready for this. Like, what are we even looking at? Like, you cannot even comprehend. I think that this is Lego. If you have a chance to catch this awesome collaborative build at any LEGO convention this year, be sure to check out New Hashima Collab on Instagram for all of the details on where to see this. Calling it a night. I am extremely tired. The World of Lights was like super cool, but we'll tune in tomorrow for the last day of Atlanta BrickCon.